the good times rolling. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. This home squad is on a heater. Both teams are lined up, and we are set to get things going. The Ducks start things off on the right note by winning the opening draw. Oh, did he ever rock him in the open ice? The cliche in hockey is you want to start the game hard and physical and really set the tone, and that's what he was doing right there. Anaheim's across the blue line. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Quick pass to Kadri. Picked up here in the neutral zone by Sharon Govich. Moves the puck. Gives him a choke with that hit. And tries to make a diagonal pass to Michael. Centering feed! And that's stopped! Champion's pass was so difficult, James. I mean, he stumbles and he's off balance and he's still able to corral the puck and get it off with precision to the shooter. That leads to a great scoring chance. Silverberg's got it along the wing. Between his legs! And a huge stop by the goaltender at point blank range. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. The Ducks win the draw. Now let's see what they can do with it. Oh, what a save in front! I think the goaltender knew that that puck was going to be moving across to him. I mean, he's known for his one-timer. So the goaltender was to task, anticipated, and made the save. Coughs up the puck after that hit. Sends the pass over. Anaheim's caught him along the wall. Grabbed along the boards by Silverberg. Pinned up along the boards. Takes the puck behind the net. And it's kicked away. And he takes the feed. Way too much congestion blocks that. Anaheim's got it now. Oh, big time save by Wolf. Still lots of time left here in this frame. Still looking for our first goal. Nice start winning the draw here inside the offensive zone. Just slide. Loose puck battle along the boards. Here's a short pass to Coronado. And now he moves it to Zeri. Quick shot. Comes up with a stop. Takes the pass. The Ducks gain control of the puck. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. Shot. Wicked stop by the goalie who got his glove out to knock it away. Passes it over. Tries to feed it over to Niskanen. He scores! Oh man, he's an incredible passer, James. I mean, he's got IQ and awareness, so he knows where he wants to put the puck, so he's one step ahead of everyone. But then it's all about your delivery. You have to give a pass that someone can receive. So the perfect timing or the temperature, you want to make sure that it's flat, it's crisp, and he seems to do it every single time. Anaheim's high activity in the offensive zone has resulted in them leading here midway through the first. And they take control of the puck here in the neutral zone. And that's deflected. Big save by the goaltender watching that one. What an incredible glove save by the goaltender. I mean, he gets out to the top of the crease. He's challenging. He's saying, hey, try and beat me on this side. And both centers glide into the dot as a face-off set to resume. Calgary's won the draw. Anaheim's moving it along the wing. Receives the pass. Great save. Oh, and a smart heads-up play with the bank pass. Fires it on net. Oh, and he somehow got a little piece of it, and it stays out of the net. Now a quick pass to Peltier. Big play inside the defensive zone. Dumps it in. Coughs it up on the play. Anaheim's got possession of the puck. Sometimes players get into those scoring areas and they try and get a little too cute. And that's a result. Stop! And they run it back with another. Yeah, back to back goals. You can feel the energy, the wave, the momentum, and the tides have turned here, James. They need to keep the pedal to the metal. Smart play by the 
shooter here, the presence of mind to recognize that there's a lot of traffic and put it to the net. And the goaltender, I mean, he can't see this, Buff James. We can't see where it is with all of these bodies net front, and it finds the back of the net. The Ducks are firing on all cylinders so far here in period number one, Cheryl. They've been playing with a lot of energy and they've been aggressive and it's their habits. You can tell that they worked on them and they've talked about them pre-game and they have certainly executed in this first period. Picked off by Huberto. Calgary's looking to break out. Moves it to Faber. And he's got the answer for that one. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. The Ducks have been the better team in this first period. More scoring opportunities, and as a result, more goals. Kadri's won the draw deep in the defensive zone. Forces the turnover in the offensive zone. Anaheim's been working hard all night, James. They've been intercepting pucks and a great stick position, and it's been a defensive clinic. They've got to find ways to get to the other side of the puck and generate some offense. Dishes it off! And the traffic neutralizes that threat. And it's a quick pass to Bede. Just wide. Anaheim's got a hold of the puck now. Takes a spill onto the ice and loses the puck. Puck scooped up by Boldy. Oh, and he missed the net. What a chance there. Oh, James, when you're in the funnel, you've got that great scoring chance. You've got to execute. You can't miss from that area. Ahead of steam now towards the front. Calgary's on the attack. Calgary's been working hard all game, a reason why they're still in it, and they had an opportunity to cut the deficit, but goes off the pipe and out. And somehow he hangs on. Quick feed to Coleman. Moves it around along the half wall. Calgary's got the puck. Quick pass over to Johns. And he takes the dish. Puck picked up by Johns. Calgary's looking to break out of their own end. Here they come up along the wing. Taken along the wall by Zeri. Moves it quickly over to Hanley. And now he tries to get it across to Pahal. Reads it perfectly and comes up with the takeaway. It's a two on one. Across the line. Here's a shot. Oh, what a save on the play. Gains the zone through the middle. And that's knocked away by Niskanen. Just a little too much contact and couldn't hang on to the puck. It's a contact sport, people. There's proof right there. Less than a minute to go here in the opening frame. Sends a pass over. Inside the offensive end, now down the left. Here's a chance. Grabs him with the glove. got the lead here late in this first period. Rossi's got the puck and they'll go on the attack. There's a great glove save by Wolf. Both teams readying here for the faceoff. Puck is dropped and we are back underway. Well, fun start to this one as period number one comes to an end. We've still got lots more still in store. Kids are coming out on the ice here to play the little mini prospects game. And we'll be back with more in a moment. Both teams had a chance to recharge. And the officials set to drop the puck here on period number two. Second frame is underway as the puck is dropped. Well, Cheryl, we got 20 minutes under our belts in this one. How do you sum up the performance? The Flames need to make better decisions with the puck if they want to get back into this game. I mean, they're trailing just because they haven't been able to manage it. And that's off the club and will play on. Hard hit, frees up the puck. Quick pass to Johns. Oh, it's stayed out. It's stayed out. What a save. Well, that's all real, and this is going to elevate his team. No question about it. 
James. I mean, it was all but in, and then he comes from nowhere to make that save. And as play continues, listen to these fans. They're starting to get loud and recognizing what we saw not long ago here, Cheryl. Yeah, James, I mean, they're continuing to acknowledge the save he made earlier because they know the temperature of this game. Hey, the fans are now in it. They're all on board, and guess what? The goaltender knows it. Stopped by the goaltender. Pays it over. Slides the puck over. The Flames gain possession along the wall. Slides the puck across to Kuzmenko. Great reach with the poke check by Niskanen. Oh, and he tracks it perfectly in the offensive end. Anaheim's got control of the puck. Richards moves it into the attacking end. Grabs the puck in the slot. Poked away in the neutral zone. Takes it from the right side. Here's a short pass to Richards. Puts it on net, and that's turned aside by Wolf. Taken by Mira Menov. Takes the feed. Stopped by the goaltender. Picked up along the boards by Hanley. And now it's grabbed by Shattenkirk. The Flames will play it in their own end. Tries to make a move and can't hang on to the puck. Sometimes when you lose the puck, it's a product of trying to do too much. Sometimes keeping it simple is more effective. Backlund's got it in the defensive end. I'm going to guess that he's going to look to drive the net and shoot the puck, given that he's one goal away from his next milestone. Takes it from the other side of the blue line. Poked away. Good read on the play there by the keeper. Calgary's got the puck along the wall. Handles the pass. On the deflection. Fantastic save! Great hit on the play. The Flames have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Moves it to Darlene. Takes the feed at center and moves up ahead. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Passes the puck over to Darlene. Fires it into the offensive zone. Slides the pass over to Dewar. Poked away by Faber. Calgary's gained possession along the boards. Into the offensive zone. Sends it in on the attack. Feeds the puck to Tippett. Sends it into the offensive zone. Takes a hit, he goes down to the ice and coughs up the puck. Wolf's gonna give everyone a chance to breathe and hang on to the puck. More than half the period has expired, and it's a 2-0 hockey game. The Flames start with the puck in the road end. Unloads from the blue line. Scores! And that's three unanswered goals, and as my mom likes to say, they're cooking with gas. <laughs> they're cooking with gas, and you can expect that they have put their opponents on their heels. This is a team that knows that they have worn their opponent down. Now they gotta keep the pedal to the metal. The Ducks have been moving and grooving all night long, and we're only in the second period here, Pounder. Well, they're finding a way to get the puck, and that's because they're retrieving it. But when they get it, they're keeping it. They're not letting anyone have it, and the motion in the offensive zone has been incredible, and the score is a result. Makes the move, and the puck hops away from him. Sorry for stepping on your toes, James, but that was a huge hit behind the play. The Ducks have been on fire offensively tonight, and they lead for good reason here in the second. The Flames come up with the defensive zone draw. There's a firm collision. Quick feed to Richards. Oh, and it goes off his glove. Wolf styled in and anticipating the play so effectively, making a huge save from a dangerous spot on the ice. Fires it. Crisp's been able to 
to watch the game for most of the night from the other end because of the offensive production in the offensive zone, James. But it's a real good job there. Timing is everything. Staying focused, tracking the puck, and making a good save at the right time. The Ducks have been the better team, leading in the shot department, and they lead it on the scoreboard. Richards takes possession right off the draw. On the attack, they come down the right wing. To the front, and that's blocked away. Calgary's got a hold of it along the wall. And that's a great heads up play in the offensive zone. The Flames pick up steam and are on the attack. Here's a shot, and he was ready for that one. Puck grabbed by Boldy, and he slides it quickly to Richards. And he loses control here. Both sides digging into that puck along the wall. Oh, my! Oh, he stops him with a glove. Great reflexes there. Silverberg's been lighting the lamp at this point streak, playing so confident. He knows where he is on the ice, and it just seems that every time it makes its way towards the net, the puck's going in. And momentum on their side as they win the draw here inside the offensive zone. Calgary's got the puck along the boards. Through the neutral zone now, picking up steam. Still has position. Reads it perfectly, breaking up the play. They've got numbers. And he hits one of his own teammates with that shot. Oh, he got all of that. What a save by Wolf. He does a great job of having sound positional play based on where the puck is on that low inner slot. And he makes himself big, takes away the holes, and makes the save. Anaheim's in cruise control here late in period number two as they lead by a wide margin. Puck scooped up by Hanley. Good fight for the puck along the boards. The Flames will play it from the defensive zone. Through the open ice, they're picking up steam. Can't stay on his feet after that hit. Slides it across! The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. The Ducks came into this one with one foul on line. Lots of pucks to the net, and they continue to lead here late in the second. Puck is dropped, and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And he takes the pass. The Flames have it from their own end. And the middle frame almost done. Take up, take up. Lombard's got it in the corner. For point nine, and it goes right off his bucket to stay out. Denies him again. And now he moves it quickly to the middle. No, sir. When that puck came hard, it came fast, and it came multiple times. When he was right on it, showing his athleticism to make those saves. Now they're looking to keep that momentum going here in the face off. After that last shift change, where they really pressed, they want to continue right there, get pucks to the net, because this goaltender will not want to battle net front. He's outworked already. There's the buzzer, bringing period number two to a close. Hey, listen, we've got lots more in store here on this broadcast, so don't even think about going anywhere from Dr. Borman. Welcome back to EA Sports, the final frame of this one. Well, this has been an absolute blowout through the first two periods as we get underway here in the third. Two-thirds of the way to the finish line, and this one for regulation time. Cheryl, how do you view it? The Flames, Coach, won't be happy with their performance tonight in the effort areas and the habits. I mean, they really haven't been hard on the puck. They haven't been strong or physical. And as a result, their opponent has taken it to them because they've had the puck the entire game. Favors called for tripping. He's off to the box. Clear the 
Up from deep inside his own end. Loses possession after he takes a little hit. Down the left wing and into the offensive zone. The Ducks have possession shorthanded. And they clear that puck. Gets it over to Shattenkirk. The Flames have it now. From center, they get into the attacking area. From the point, looks to make something happen. Made the stop on the play. They'll get set to drop the puck as this power play continues. Rossi's won the draw inside his own end. They move the puck out of harm's way. Taken by Bean. The Flames move the puck to the defensive side. Sends it quickly to Kent. Takes a shot. Big time save. Oh, he is looking good in there tonight. Calgary's got a hold of it against the wall. Effective use of the paddle on that one. Tender clean and hits the post. Doesn't come out, redirects right back in. That's a fortuitous bounce for the shooter. The Ducks are having themselves a night, and they probably don't want this one to end, Pounder. Nah, I wouldn't. If you're patting the stats and you're putting up these kind of numbers, I mean, from start to finish, they've imposed their will on their opponent. Michael's quick stick lands from the puck here at center. Poked away by Hanley. Wolf's last save was absolutely incredible, James. Not only was it pure desperation and athleticism, but I'm not sure how he can stretch that far. I think he's been doing gymnastics in his off time. Niskanen's moving the puck through his own zone. Solid check to slow him down. Moves it quickly over to Michael. Wolf's gonna hang on for a whistle. The Ducks have built themselves up a comfortable lead here in this third period. Well, that's one way to win the draw as he skates away with the puck after the two centers were tied up. Oh, and a good textbook hit there. Anaheim's got the puck along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. From the left side, it moves to the middle of the ice. Passes it in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. The Ducks don't want to take their foot off the gas here in the third period, but they have a lot of padding with the lead that they've built. Richards quick on the draw. Quick pass to Silverberg. Anaheim's ready to go on the attack. And that's some great pressure in the offensive end by Boldy. Moves the puck down low. And he slides it quickly to Faber. Oh, wow, what an incredible save! I don't even know how he got to that. That's fierce athleticism to be able to get back to the net and make that save, James. That was amazing! Still a lot of time left in the period as we approach the midway mark. The Ducks lead at 4-1. Works it across to Kemp. 
along the half wall with the puck. And he maintains possession of the puck here. And a quick save on that one. Fist's in such great position, he's able to redirect that puck to safety right to the corner. Stopped by the goaltender. This is a great save by the goaltender, James, but you have to be aware of who is on the ice and what their tendencies are. You know when you have a lethal shooter that can one-time the puck like that, you got to be aware. Scooped up along the wall by Kuzmenko. Puck is frozen and will get a face-off. The Ducks have continued to put lots of pumps on net, and they lead it here in the third. And a solid job tying up his opponent. Tangles the puck. And the travel jam in front blocks the shot. The centermen glide into position. The center's tied up. He swoops in to take possession. Pumps it away at his own end. Shot. There's a stop with the blocker by Wolf. Moves it to Huberto. Here's a short pass to Sharon Govich. This is a fantastic save, James. He's all over it. What I mean by that is he knows exactly where it is and where it's moving. A reason why he can get square to it and make the save. And he totally whiffs on that one. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Picked up along the wall by Sharon Govich. From the left side, they gain the zone. Takes a shot. Misses the net. Well, you utilize possession to get scoring chances, James, and they got the look that they wanted. They just missed. Not even opportunity for a rebound. That's a tough one. Takes the feed. Sends it deep inside the offensive zone. And he takes the feed. Anaheim's got it in their own zone. Looking to make something happen along the boards. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Coming down the left wing and into the zone. Looks to make a play over to Johns. He carries the puck up along the wing. Takes the puck. Moves it to Hanley. And that's intercepted by Backlund. Moves the puck along the half wall. The Ducks look to start the transition game. Puck picked up by Pahal. Directs it on over to Lomberg. Here's an odd man rush. And the goaltender comes up with a piece of it to keep it out of the net. And he loses control of the puck. Quick feed to Pelsier. Too many bodies in the way. And they'll cover it up, forcing a stoppage in play. The Red Wings are up next, according to the league schedule makers, and no love lost between these two sides. Tickets still available, should be a good one. Calgary's gonna start with the puck inside the offensive zone. And he makes the save with ease. Moves it quickly over to Richards. Anaheim's been so impressive tonight. I've really loved the way they've competed. They've battled for the first score! And that's back-to-back -back goals! Well, nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels and getting two in a row back-to-back. -back. Here they come. Well, this is a really smart shot through traffic, James. The recognition of the net front presence in screen, and the goalie drops to the butterfly position really tries to make himself as big as possible, hoping that the puck just hits him because he can't see it. Anaheim's been running away with this one since the beginning of the game, and no signs of slowing down in the third. It's been a productive night, and this is one of those games that gives everyone confidence, and this is important for your lineup as everyone gets it as they feel like they're contributing. Takes the feed and center from the right wing. are just minutes away from closing out this blowout. They have had plenty of scoring opportunities and have maximized most of them. And they win the draw in the offensive zone and they go to work. Battling for the puck, but still hangs on. 
Here's Mako's moving it ahead. The Ducks get a hold of the puck in their own end. Gaining momentum along the wing. Quick pass to Silverberg. Snapped away by the blocker. Moves the puck to Kadri. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. And a strong physical collision on the play there. And he costs it up with the pass. And he comes up big with the stick save, getting all of it with the paddle. And that slides right out to center ice. The Ducks played along the boards. Here's a short pass to Champion. Great chance and an even better save. Right up the gut into the attacking zone. Calgary's got the puck against the half wall. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. Dishes it off. Calgary's got it in their own zone. Handles the pass from the right wing. Drills them. Scrum along the wall. Takes control of the puck. Michael's got it along the boards. Jostled off the puck. Champion's got control of the puck in the corner. Fires it! Redirected off one of his own line mates there. There it is, final horn sounds. We are all over here with this one. And you can chalk up another victory for a team that is playing with a lot of confidence right now. Uh, I mean, they've got a winning streak going, and, and anytime you have something like that going, just feel like you're going to win when you step onto the ice and you're confident, you got swagger, and everything seems to be clicking. Got to love, and you got to really embrace when it feels like that. Well, that brings the night to an end, and we will say goodbye here from ringside from all of us here at EA Sports. My name is James Cebulski. I got to get to bed. See ya.